things are shaking as the winds chill their bones. Nobody knows, no one has noticed. I am the pandemic for which they practiced. The corruption of society, the eruption of falsities. I'm bigger than you want me to be, a devastating reality. But you are learning to separate. You have a yearning to make it in this cruel world. Who would have thought that you would stand a chance against me just by taking a stand for the weak? I never thought that you would rid yourself of my power, a noble endeavor that you venture through, but what will you do when I come to attack again? I will be back once more, and trust me, I will have you on your knees begging for mercy. You must come to realize that your prayers will be unanswered as you plead for your life. I will come to see you sometime, and I will not clean the knife. No longer at home amongst the grave reality of ingenuity, but along with the rest of the brave. The ones that were taken down for thinking differently. You see their stories all around, but they will not stay. Masked by the mass coverage of the shooting today, yesterday's hero is forgotten. This is exactly what the government wanted. Panic. A population in desperation clinging to our leaders for guidance. Our heads are overwhelmed by the violence. Commercials on TV say, try this. Psychiatrists give us medications, a quick fix to keep us sedated. But you made it. Somehow you escaped their technique. You showed them that you weren't one of the weak. Your voice rose above theirs as you taught the world that they were unfair, the direct result of an unanswered prayer. How did you get here? How did you find your way through the maze? How did you avoid the government's plays and earn the population's praise? You explained that simply succumbing to what we were taught was not learning. We were not thinking critically. Imagine living in simplicity without the pressure of buying things, just because it is the newest technology. What could this knowledge mean? The revolution is coming. Yeah.